walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis Scott here, and I'm back with some more boxing. I went back and watched the Roman Gonzalez versus Carlos Cuadras fight today. I mean, for no reason in particular, you know, I wasn't doing shit, just wanted to put some shit on the TV. And then I was like, you know what, man, I'm going to go back and watch that and check it out. You know what I'm saying? See what Roman Gonzalez was doing. I was actually there live, so I didn't get to see it on TV, but I was pretty close to the ring. So, you know, I've seen the fight just like everybody saw it on TV. And, um, Roman Gonzalez is a hell of a fighter, man. He's a really entertaining fighter. You know, I think I was kind of turned off from Roman Gonzalez from the uh, Arroyo fight. I was also at that fight, too. That was um, back in April on the Dominic Wade versus Triple G undercard. And in that fight, Arroyo didn't really do much. He didn't do nothing at all. And Roman Gonzalez threw a shitload of punches, a shitload of combinations, and landed, you know, a shitload of punches on that guy and didn't score not one knockdown, and it went to the decision. And, you know, I don't know if that, I think that might have been my first time ever seeing um, Roman Gonzalez. Oh, no, I've seen the fight before that. The Valoria fight where he dropped him. But then when they stopped the fight, it didn't really look like the guy was done. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, nobody's perfect, right? But I think it was the Arroyo fight that really kind of turned me off from uh, Roman Gonzalez. But, you know, that's not fair because you can't always get the, the, um, the KL. And then before that fight, before the Arroyo fight... Roman Gonzalez was on a 10 um, knockout uh, streak, you know, a streak of 10 knockouts straight. But, you know, I went back and watched that Carlos Cuadras fight. And then, um, you know, I was just evaluating um, Roman Gonzalez, really. I didn't go back to um, to rescore the fight. But, you know, just looking at the fight, you know, I think I pretty much scored it like 9-3, to three, you know, seeing it live. And I believe that, you know, I still got that score, maybe 8-4, to four, you know what I'm saying? But no... You know what I'm saying? No closer than that. No closer than 8-4. to four. But, you know, I was really looking at Roman Gonzalez since he's the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter. And, you know, I mean, and then you can't help but compare Roman Gonzalez to, like, the prior fighters that was number one pound-for-pound, pound, namely um, Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, because those are the most recent number one pound-for-pound pound fighters. Now, Roman Gonzalez is no Mayweather. He doesn't fight like Mayweather at all. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really comparable. You know, and um, when I think of pound for pound, number one, I think of a fighter who is untouchable. You know what I'm saying? You, you're the best in boxing. So I don't really expect the number one pound for pound fighter to really struggle in any fights. You know, not saying that Roman Gonzalez struggled in that fight because he clearly won the fight. But he was taking some punishment up in there. You know what I'm saying? Even though he didn't really look too um, hurt or anything like that. Nothing to, you know, well, some people say they thought Quadras won the fight. I don't I don't see it. Maybe they only was looking at the damage of Roman Gonzalez's face. He did, you know, uh, suffer a little bit of swelling, stuff like that in a fight. But, you know, I thought it was a clear-cut victory, you know, both times that I saw it. But, you know, I don't expect for a number one pound-for-pound pound fighter to be taking no punish, punishment like that or taking no punches like that. You know, I see a lot of good qualities in Roman Gonzalez. And, and, you know, overall, I think that he's an amazing fighter. I think he's really entertaining to watch. I really do. You know, and um, I like his style. You know what I'm saying? He's aggressive as hell, man. That little motherfucker will run up. He's like, he, he won't let you breathe. You know what I'm saying? He's really good at... Um, putting his punches together. You know what I'm saying? He's a combination puncher. He's real accurate, too. You know what I'm saying? He he lands, you know, the majority of the punches that he throw. But, you know, when you fight like that, he has pretty good head movement to it and dodging punches. But when you fight like that, really aggressive like that, you know, you're leaving yourself open to get hit with some shots. But, you know, I did notice, you know, some, um, a couple of faults in this game, you know what I'm saying, where... I mean, he was almost, he's almost too aggressive, too reckless. You know, he's reckless when he's coming in there aggressively. You know what I'm saying? Like, I noticed a lot of times when he was coming in, running up on Carlos Quadras, he wasn't even, 
he didn't even bother to try to block any shots. You know what I'm saying? Coming in. You know, it's almost like he didn't care about being punt punched. You know, I mean, that's cool if you want to fight like that. But, you know, if you continue fighting like that, then, you know, somebody might knock you out. Anybody can get hurt and, and knocked out. If somebody hits you hard enough the right way, then it's over with. The fight is over. But, you know, um, I kind of like, I don't know, I like that aggression, man. You know, and um, but I do, I prefer it to be a little bit more pretty. And not exactly like how Mayweather fight. Now, Manny Pacquiao, for example, when he was number one pound for pound and when he was like at his peak in his prime. You know, Manny Pacquiao had a lot of skill. And if you aren't a, gr a really great fighter, then you're not going to really be able to touch Manny Pacquiao too much. You know what I'm saying? He shows skill. I mean, his head movement, you know, uh, Roman Gonzalez has like really good head movement. Don't get me wrong. You know, he's good at slipping punches when he want to. But that extra aggressive shit, you know, he's going in there. He's not concerned about taking a punch because he's more concerned about handing out his pun punishment. You know what I'm saying? And then he take punches coming in. He's like running up into punches. But Manny Pacquiao's head movement was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you really just try to focus on Manny Pacquiao's head movement, you know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, it would be like a blur. You can't, you couldn't see him. You know what I mean? Manny Pacquiao was like a really difficult fighter to fight, man. You know, he still got skills today. But I'm talking about back in those days, man. It's kind of like, you know, I would have fought Mayweather 10 days, <laughs> uh, 10 times out of 10, seven days out of the week, you know, over Manny Pacquiao. And a lot of people would say the same thing because he's like just wobbling back and forth, just moving his head left to right, left to right, left. I mean, really quick. You know, it's almost to the point where like how do Manny Pacquiao himself um, is, is able to land those shots? How could he land a shot while you moving that fast? You know what I'm saying? Uh, side to side. And then his footwork. You know, his footwork was like, he's just bounced on his feet like a um, Street Fighter character. You know, just, I mean, really fast, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, but he did have skill with it. And um, like I said before, if, like, if you're not, you know, a, a really great fighter, not a really good fighter, I mean, a great fighter, like Kodo or something like that, you're not going to be touching Manny Pacquiao. He's too quick, head movement is too good, footwork is too good. He can dart in and dart back out. So, you know, um... I brought those two fighters up, Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, as examples, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said before, those are our prior pound-for-pound -pound number one fighters. Now, when I look at Roman Gonzalez, I do see skill, you know what I'm saying? And um, he just might, I don't know, man, you know, it's kind of hard for me to compare him to these other fighters, man. You know, because, like I said, man, he, he does take punches and shit, you know, and um, I'm not used to seeing a number one pound for pound fighter look like that at the end of a fight because of punches. You know what I'm saying? Unless a motherfucker was headbutting and fighting dirty or some shit, but that hardly ever happened with, you know, fighters that's on that level because, you know, the only time Floyd ever got cut, what well, was when Victor Ortiz uppercut him with his head. I think he might've got cut in one other fight, but, um, I don't know, but you know, it, it didn't really happen. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody, ain't nobody going to be really getting that close up on Floyd to hit him or, you know, clash heads. But, you know, Roman Gonzalez was getting touched up by punches. And, um, you know, I love his style, man. Like I said before, but um, I don't know, man. Uh, he's, he's number one pound for pound. They, they, he got it right now, but and he's a great fighter. Look, man, you know, if out of just pure excitement, because look, man, um, Andre Ward got a fight coming up against Sergey Kovalev. That that fight is being um, branded pound for pound. Sergey Kovalev is number two pound for pound, and Andre Ward is number four, which really kind of pisses me off because Triple G is number three, and all he do is fight bums and smaller fighters. You know, he shouldn't be ranked higher than Andre Ward. You know, I, I know Andre Ward um, took a break and all of that good shit, but if you put Andre Ward's resume next to Triple G's, Kovalev, and Roman Gonzalez, Andre Ward will be number one. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if he took a break or not, he still has accomplished more. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Um, I don't know if if it's, the end is near for um, Roman Gonzalez being number one pound for pound. Now, 
I enjoy his fights far more than I enjoy Andre Ward's fights. You know, but Andre Ward appears to be more effective at doing what he do. You know, I mean, he might be boring, but he ain't finna be looking like that at the end of no fight, any fight. I don't think he ever has. He ain't never really came close to losing any fight. Roman Gonzalez might lose that number one pound for pound, man. But, you know, it's all a, like a popularity contest anyways, though. And I think that HBO like Roman Gonzalez more than they like Andre Ward. So we don't know. But, you know, I really just wanted to um, critique Roman Gonzalez as a fighter. And um, personally, you know, he's got to be like in my top 10. I think that's like too wide. But I really want to say top five of most entertaining fighters to watch. You know, I didn't really like the, um, the what's, what's that fight, man? The Arroyo fight. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing. He dominated. I didn't really like that fight because there was no knockdowns, knockout, and he was dominate, uh, dominating the guy. And I felt like, you know, this fight should be over with. You hitting this guy so many times, so many combinations, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, this is getting old. Where's your power? But, you know, he's a really entertaining fighter to watch. And, um... Really skilled, man. I can't wait to see him fight again. You know, they talking about... He, he's saying that he want to um, fight Quadras again. I guess some negotiations fell through with some other opponent. And um, was that opponent like 12-0 and 0 or something like that? People trying to say he was ducking that fighter? I don't know. I didn't really follow it because it sounded like a bunch of bullshit to me. You know, it's like some fighter that, that just popped up. And now he's supposed to be the boogeyman. And a number one pound-for-pound pound fighter scared of him. I just didn't buy it. The, the shit and didn't pay no attention to it but it's gonna be tight man you know i guess it's gonna all depend on andre ward's performance not only the victory if he pull it off because we don't know shit kovalev might go in there and knock out andre ward and become the number one pound for pound fighter or they might just leave him at number two i don't know man maybe if he knock out andre ward he's gonna be number one if andre ward completely shuts out kovalev or dominates him they're gonna make him number one now, if Andre Ward win a close fight, like seven to five or some shit like that, maybe even, I don't know, eight to four, eight to four, yeah, eight to four, and then you didn't really look good in some of those rounds, but if he win, they might still leave Roman Gonzalez at number one pound for pound. You know, but if, I mean, if you're looking at accomplishments, man, you know, gotta go to Andre Ward, but entertainment wise, fuck yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's definitely one of the most entertaining fighters of the top 10 pound for pound fighters you got triple g in there you got kovalev in there both of those are exciting fighters terrence crawford is number five pound for pound he's a dominant fighter he is pretty exciting right he's dropping all of these guys man he went the distance with victor postal but he dropped him a couple times and it was pretty exciting to watch you know we got a lot of talent out here man but you know um one thing man you know i think um you know, criticism that I might have for Roman Gonzalez, man. Look, man, when you coming in, running up on these motherfuckers, you got to keep your hands up, okay? You know, I mean, yeah, you're an exciting fighter. You're going to be an exciting fighter no matter what, fighting aggressive as you fight. But you running up on these people, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody punch you in the face that many times when it's not necessary. I mean, I know, I'm looking at the fight and I'm like, I know Roman Gonzalez is better than this. You know what I'm saying? I know that I mean, it's not that hard to figure out to like, if you coming in to keep your hands up because like when he's not just rushing in and going forward, he has really good head movement, right? And defense. It's hard to hit him, you know, but when he's coming forward, it's just like fuck defense. You keep fighting like that. Like you're going to end up punch drunk or some shit. You're going to end up like, you can't keep getting hit like that. And Oh yeah. Man, his work weight rate is way too high. Now, like, I wouldn't even think nothing about it. But he gassed out, like, towards the end of that fight. And then Carlos Carraja started landing some heavy shots. Really heavy shots. I mean, a couple times, I thought that Roman Gonzalez was going to go down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is like the, what, three rounds out? Like, the, about the 10th round. You know what I'm saying? Maybe even the ninth. But definitely the 10th, 11th, and the 12th. Roman Gonzalez was gone. I mean, stamina is just gone. I mean, he, he threw nearly a, a thousand punches in that fight. But, and then the other guy threw like 900. But still, like Roman Gonzalez was charging this guy the whole fight. Like his hands was moving 
the entire fight. I mean, it was crazy. He moved at like a, a hectic pace, which is okay if you can keep it up. But if you gassing out that bad, you know what I'm saying, three rounds out, you will fuck around and get knocked out by a fighter that you was dominating. Because, you know, he was dominating uh, Carlos Quadras and he let Quadras have like a little bit of success towards the end of the fight because he gassed out. See, like, you got to control that shit, man. You know, like, um, would you ever see Floyd gassing himself out? No, you would never see it. I know Roman Gonzalez is no Floyd, but Roman Gonzalez is number one pound for pound, so it's something to talk about. Manny Pacquiao, would you ever see him gassing himself out and then getting fucked up like that? No, you would never see it. So you definitely, you definitely got to keep your hands up when you come for it, and you have to, like, prepare for a 12-round fight every time. You might not get the knockout. You know, I mean, um, Roman Gonzalez, he got a record of 46 and 0 with 38 knockouts. So he's used to getting these guys out of there. But just in case you don't get that knockout, you don't want to get knocked out at the end of the fight because you gassed out. So he definitely got to work on that, man. But other than that, Roman Gonzalez is one of my favorite fighters to watch in the ring, man. He's real entertaining. I love anybody, any fighter style who comes forward, throw a lot of punches and aggressive and effective and can win, you know, all of their fights or... The majority of them, you know, because sometimes, you know, you come up short, but Roman Gonzalez has never came up short. So, you know, he's definitely one of my fi favorite fighters to watch. But, you know, I think he needs to work on that defense coming in and he got to learn how to pace himself a little bit better. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a good fucking with you.